it's not been a very good week for telly, has it? Following the news that Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby's replacements Ben Shepard and Kat Dealey have pulled out of hosting ITVs this morning, and the axing of the BBC's A Question of Sport after more than 50 years, viewers have turned their attention to another show, or, should we say turned off? Yes, ITV Saturday Morning with James Martin fans decided to give today's episode a miss, after an insufferable guest appearance from Sir Cliff Richard which has resulted in viewers threatening to boycott the show altogether. The veteran pop star was on the popular chat show with Judy Love, where they tried Chef James's cod and roast beef. But things have been turbulent for 83-year-old Cliff recently, and quite rightly so, in our opinion, following his unbelievably rude appearance on This Morning where he announced that he once refused having his photo taken with Elvis because the Heartbreak Hotel singer had put on weight. Announcing Cliff's reappearance today, the official ITV Saturday Morning account wrote on X, This AM James Martin is joined by Sir Cliff Richard and Judy Love, who try cod, roast beef and Yorkshire puddings, and chicken blanquette. Richard Bertinet, Lisa Allen and Sat Baines are in the house too, cooking up a storm with some delicious recipes. See you at 9.30 at ITV. Oh dear, will telly bosses ever learn? It appears not. After Cliff's recent controversy, viewers instantly tuned out, before taking to X to share their annoyance with the booking. One disgruntled fan wrote, After his fat shaming on this morning, I will give it a miss thanks, while another feud. Cliff Richards is insufferable, sorry James. He completely ruined that episode of Saturday Kitchen a few weeks back and will no doubt have the same effect on your show. Yeah, I'll pass after his appearance on this morning, a third wrote. Surprised he had his picture with anyone bigger than him. Which is basically anyone. Another viewer defected to the BBC, which quite frankly says it all, commenting. I'm out, over to Matt and Saturday Kitchen on BBC One today. Cliff, not for me. And one traumatized social media user added. Saturday James Martin, my eyes will never unsee Cliff Richard dancing. What, was that? Someone else simply stated, Cliff Richard. I'm out. Cliff's recent dispute saw him make the fat-shaming comments on this morning, while talking with Alison Hammond, Dermot O'Leary and Sarah Ferguson last month. Discussing his showbiz career, he name-dropped some of the other famous people he had met along the way, revealing he turned down the chance to see King of Rock and Roll Elvis Presley. But things turned sour when he explained why, saying he didn't want to be photographed with him because he was overweight at the time. He bizarrely explained, he put on a lot of weight. I thought, if I'm taking a photograph with him, and it's going to be hanging on my refrigerator, he's gotta look good. And when Elvis died in 1977, he realized he'd missed his chance, adding, I put it off, and then, of course, he died. Alison, quite rightly, wasn't happy with his comment though, quipping, should never have put it off just because they're a little bit heavier. She added, if you're a fan of somebody, if you get the chance to meet them, meet them, even if they are put on weight. She later joked, is that why you don't want me at your house? Honestly, after that horrendously cringeworthy and downright rude appearance, you would think TV chiefs would have learned their lesson with Cliff's behavior, but no, they insist on shoving him in our faces, even when it's quite clear we don't want to see him. The question is why? Well, it's really quite simple, he is, as we would put it, one of them. All part of the same club so to speak. But, viewers are getting wiser and more savvy by the day, and it's plain to see that the television has begun eating itself from the inside out. Numerous shows axed, numerous stars disgraced, bosses shown to be liars, and many programs on the verge of extinction, as those in charge scrabble around with their heads in the sand, trying to ignore the glaring fact that the public has begun to see right through them. And following the Beeb's dramatic decision to axe a question of sport after running for more than 50 years, the money-grabbing corporation blamed inflation and dwindling ratings as the long-running sports quiz show that spanned more than 1,300 episodes was cancelled. A BBC spokesperson said, Due to inflation and funding challenges difficult decisions have to be made, therefore question of sport is currently not in production at the moment. When Paddy McGuinness was drafted in to replace Sue Barker, he said, I love the fiercely competitive nature of sports stars coupled with having a laugh. That's why, A Question of Sport has always been one of my favorite shows and having been weaned on it from an early age, this is an honor and opportunity I'm certainly not taking lightly. Paddy said that he would attempt to put his own mark on the show, which was previously hosted by David Coleman and David Vine. He added, 
I grew up with both David's hosting, but it's Sue who made this show her own. She will always be a question of sport icon, but I'll try my best to stamp my own mark on it. But, earlier this year, Paddy revealed his Top Gear co-star and pal Freddie Flintoff warned him, ahead of hosting a question of sport. For me personally, the pressure I felt, I felt it more for a question of sport than Top Gear, he said. I remember Freddie when I got the job, and he rang me up and said, oh god, be careful because it can be talked about online and stuff, he added. While Barker was still presenting, a million people were still tuning in to watch the show, with the number almost halving to 2.2 million when Paddy McGuinness took over. Soon, under a million viewers were tuning in. In 2022, ratings for Question of Sport slumped to an all-time low dropping to an average of 850,000. One episode on August 19 peaked at 750,000, with the program being beaten by a Channel 5 show about Britain's boshest farm shops. Insiders working on the show said the presenters and captains have been informed of the show's demise and were gutted. It is said to be a particular blow for Paddy, who lost his presenting show on Top Gear earlier this year when the BBC announced it would be scrapped for the foreseeable future. But, rather than listen to what viewers want, Telly Chiefs insist on circulating the same old shows with the same old format and the same old faces. Is it any wonder that viewers are turning off in their droves? Viewers want truth, they don't want manipulation, or vacuous celebrity nonsense. Yet unbelievably, just last week BBC bosses actually complained that the recently announced £10.50 license fee increase is not enough and will result in programmes that audiences love being axed. You really, couldn't make it up, could you? Culture Secretary Lucy Fraser revealed that the household payment would jump to an outrageous £169.50, as she announced a review into the broadcaster's funding model. As if people can afford that, when they are already struggling to make ends meet. No, sorry, but the time is long overdue, to switch off altogether, and put your hard-earned money, elsewhere. Please like and subscribe for more journeys through the blinker hole. For entertainment purposes only. Keep up to date with our latest investigations and hit the join button. If you like what we do, send us a super thanks. Official Blinker Hole merchandise is available in store.